songs for unusual creatures. Of oh, strangest animals and the music they inspire. Check it out. Those are the inner organs of the glass frog. But it's not made of glass. So how can we see through it? Wait to find out. Hi, I'm Michael Hurst. Welcome to another episode of Songs for Unusual Creatures. Today, I'm traveling to see the largest collection of glass frogs in the United States. Then I'll visit a friend who will play a song I wrote for the glass frog on a very unusual musical instrument invented by Benjamin Franklin. Glass frogs live in the rainforests of Central and South America, hidden in the leaves. Why is it called the glass frog? Because it has see-through skin that lets you see many of its inner organs, including its beating heart. I drove down to Atlanta in the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. This place is a home to all kinds of amazing plants and super cool topiaries like these. But what's most remarkable is that the botanical gardens are also home to a spectacular collection of frogs. So this is all the food for the frogs. Crickets, insects, worms, weevils, hissing roach. Would you like to see a hissing roach? Oh, look at that. That is disgustingly awesome. Mark Mandika is in charge of the frogs here, and he's taken me somewhere a lot of people don't get to go. Welcome to the frog pod. The frog pod. So now we're in the pod where there is heightened level of biosecurity, which means my shoes have to come off. This is a very sensitive environment, so we have to be careful not to bring in anything from the outside which might harm these frogs, including germs. Some of these frogs are the last of their kind. This is the rabs fringe limb tree frog, and when he dies, this species will most likely be extinct. These tanks are recreations of the frog's natural habitats. For the glass frog, that means humidity and moisture, and lots of leaves to sit on. Oh, look, one hiding right up there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Glass frogs are very small and very translucent. Oh, you can see its heart beating. You sure Look can. at that. That's its intestines and its stomach and its heart. And its lung and liver. Its lung and liver. That is amazing. You can really see all this frog's business. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists believe this is a form of camouflage, so they can hide among the leaves. A doing Good jump. They're also very good jumpers. I was really fascinated with these amazing frogs. And when I began to think about a song for them, there was only one instrument that came to mind. The glass harmonica. My friend Cecilia Brower is one of the few people in the world who plays it professionally. Benjamin Franklin invented the glass harmonica in 1761. Over a hundred composers, including Beethoven and Mozart, have composed works for it. Franklin got his inspiration for the glass harmonica from a concert played on wine glasses. I'm sure you've done this at the dining room table. Played music on the wine glass. Now if I put more water into it, that'll change the pitch. Now listen to it now. Franklin went to a glass blower and he asked him to make him 37 bowls of different sizes from small to large. With the wine glasses, you're limited. Two hands, two glasses. But with this, he invented it so that he could play as many notes as the fingers can touch. When I began writing a song for the glass frog, my first thought was that it lives in a cloud forest way up in the trees, which might sound something like this. And then the mysterious glass frog, what would they sound like? Maybe the harmonica can help. So these are glass frog tadpoles. They have not developed lungs or sprouted their legs yet. And you notice they're red, and that's because they are transparent and you're seeing their blood flowing through their body. 
Glass frogs mate in streams and leave their eggs hanging on leaves over the water. When the eggs hatch, the tadpoles drop right into the stream. We cut the leaf and harvest the eggs. Okay. You can see some of them have fallen off the leaf already and there are little tadpoles in there. So that's about 20 or 30 glass frog eggs, some of which mm -hmm. have already fallen into the water. There are over 150 species of glass frogs, each slightly different, but all remarkable. Well, that's all the time we have for Songs for Unusual Creatures. Thanks so much to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens and to Cecilia Brower, and of course to you. And remember, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. We love questions. See you next time.